How are you guys doing? Good. Okay, so today we will going to start sitting in Tashahud. Just want to give you a quick review that we are discussing obligatory acts in prayer and they are 14 in total. If you miss any of these acts forgetfully, you forgot to offer, then you can perform two such that at the end before salam, before saying salam, to compensate that, okay? okay? But let's say if you did not perform any of these obligatory acts, while knowing that you have to perform and you did not offer, you just miss it deliberately, then Hibban, what will happen? You have to repeat the prayer. Even two sajdas won't be sufficient because you miss it knowingly. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. We discuss opening takrif, saying Allahu Akbar. Standing if you are able to. Al-Fatiha, we discuss this. Ruku and bow down, we discuss that. Rising from the ruku and then standing straight. Fatima, you remember that? Yeah. When you say Samya Allah ibn Hamidah, then sujood and between two sujood you have to sit. Is it clear? Yeah. Then you repeat the second rakah with the same sequence. Is it clear? Yes. After repeating the second rakah, then you have to sit in tashahud. Is it clear, Ibn and Fatima? Yeah. No. You have to sit in? Tashahud. Okay. Tashahud means when you are sitting there and reading at tahiyyat Is it clear? Yes. When you sit there, do you know how you have to sit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How? Uh, uh, we get the big All right. I'll, I'll, uh, come, uh, Fatima, Iban, Iban, first stop, you will do and then you will do it. Good job. Okay, Ban, how do you do it, Ban? Good job, Fatma, come. Good job. Good job. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Come, 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 come. come. That's it. So you have to do it in a way. So you have to do it in a way that your hands are on your knees. Is it clear? Yeah. And your legs, one, your left leg will be I'll, I'll, I'll do it and show you, okay? I'll, I'll do it and show you, okay? How to do it. Okay. Let me show you this. Okay. Let me show you this. Did you see that? How my back? Did you see my back? Yes. Yes. How my right foot is? Yes. Right? Straight. On my heels, right? Yeah. No, on my fingers, right? Yeah. And how my left foot is, do you see that? Yes. This is how you do. This is one way of doing it, okay? What is the second way? Uh, second way is this. Second way is this. this. Even this is okay. Is it clear? Yeah. And both are fine. And then my front will be like this. Is it clear? Yes. Good job, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Ya alhamdulillah. Abba? Yes? Why do you do like this? I'll show you that. Okay. Hiba, once you are sitting like that, then you will start your prayer, dua. What is the first dua? 
you have to read at tahiyat yes okay reading at tahiyat sitting in that position is it obligatory or not Hibba? yeah fatima yes reading at tahiyat is it obligatory or recommended in that position uh, recommended no yeah. i know what you were supposed to say recommended because all these things that you are reading, most of them are recommended, Fatima. But at tahiyat is obligatory. Is remember this? At tahiyat is obligatory. Okay, if you don't didn't read up at tahiyat, then it means what? Yes, I will be Yes. So you are sitting in that position, and then you are reciting at tahiyat. Now, Fatima, can you recite slowly at tahiyat? Can you recite? Good job, mashallah, mashallah. Uh -huh. That's it. That, that's it. Uh -huh. That's that's uh, that's salawat on Rasulullah so That's not obligatory. But we have to do it. We will come later. That's recommended. It does does it mean that you have to leave it? No. You have to read it. But your salah will be accepted if you forgot it. In this case, your salah won't be accepted. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. What is the translation? Fatima? The translation greeting. Wait. At-tahiyatu lillah. Read it with me. At-tahiyatu lillah. At-tahiyat means greeting. At-tahiyat means? Greetings. Greetings. Greetings are for Allah. At-tahiyatu lillah. Greetings are for? Allah. What salawat as well as prayers. What tayyibat and good works. So basically each and every good thing, greetings, prayers is for Allah. May peace be upon the Prophet. Salamu alaik. May peace be upon? On the Prophet. Ayyuhan Nabi. Wa rahmatullah. As well as the mercy of Allah. Wa barakatuh. And blessings. So basically, you start with sending greetings. And then you start sending. Yes. Peace be upon. Peace. Yeah. And then mercy, and then blessings on uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So start with the greetings, all greetings and praise and compliments is for Allah. Greetings is for Allah. Greetings, praise, compliments is for Allah. And then you are saying peace and mercy and blessings you are sending on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why we are sending peace and mercy on him? Why? Because he because he did because he. Because he taught us religion. Because he taught us about Allah. Who told me and you about Allah? Uh, Prophet Muhammad. Absolutely. He came, he gave us these books, and then eventually we know from his words, his actions, his speeches, that we have to worship Allah. So, he is a great person, right? Yes. So, that's why we are always sending peace and mercy and blessings on him. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Then, As-salamu alayna. Then, Peace be upon us and on the pious servants of Allah. Ibadullah salihin. And then we say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. I be a witness that there is no one worthy of worship. Wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And I be a witness that Prophet Muhammad is the uh, messenger and the servant of God. Is it clear? Yes. Good job, mashallah. So, huh? No. We're going to do two of them. No. Okay. So basically sitting in the shahad is? Uh, when, we, when we are greeting Allah. Sitting in the shahad is obligatory or recommended? Absolutely. And then the shahad is obligatory or recommended? The shahad means at tahiyat, reading at tahiyat. Is it obligatory yeah, or recommended? Obligatory. obligatory. So basically reading at tahiyat and sitting there, both are obligatory. Is it clear, Hibban? Yeah. Okay, let's go in the sequence. Okay, what? you will start with the opening tabi, then you stand, if you able to, then you recite the Fatiha and the Surah. Fatima, when I'm saying, you should raise your hand. Okay. Oh, it's to start with the opening tabi, then stand if able to, 
Then? Fatima, then? Then? No, before after al Fati, you also have to recite a surah. Even though some say it's not obligatory, but others scholars say it's obligatory. Then? Then? Rising from the Ruku, then standing straight, then sujood, then sitting between the sujood, then sitting in Tashahud, and then reading Tashahud. Is it clear? Yeah, we did action. We didn't do that. We didn't do it. You have to bring tranquility in actions. You cannot just perform this, this, this. Then you can't do this. Okay. Tranquility, sukoon, peace. You have to do it each and every action with peaceful way. You cannot just rush through things. Is it clear, Ivan? Yeah. Because yeah, some, Fatu, some, some, some. Yes, some of the kids just rush through the things. Have you seen those kids before, Ivan? No, no. I have seen those kids somewhere. I have. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Any question, Fab? Fab, you got a question? No, no. You don't yeah, have? No worries. Think about it. Say, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. No worries. My Bambi. Inshallah, next time we are going to discuss other obligatory acts. This is clear. Salama Bakiya Adamba. Yeah. Man, who bought you all the proper sake, which means that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Good job. The first sake. You already read it. Read it. Yes. Ikhlas. Yeah. Tell me. Mm -hmm. I bear witness that there is no one worthy and worship except Allah. I, I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Good job, Mashallah.